We're en route to the Emirates. It's bright and at home today, and it's no less than three points. It's a must win. Welcome back to N5. Today, Mikel Arteta's Arsenal host Graham Potter's Brighton in a must-win match for the Gunners. They've got to put the pressure on Tottenham, who play later today at Villa Park. Brighton on a torrid run of form at the moment, but we know they have a very, very good record against Arsenal. Nil more pay. We won't say too much about his form against us. It's a must win and I reckon we're going to do it today. We're going to scrape past a Brighton side without a win in about eight or nine games. They're in 13th. We have had a rocky run of form recently. We, we got absolutely destroyed at Palace on Monday night, but we've got to turn that around today. We're going to do it by two goals to one. I'm not going to predict the scorers, but what I am going to say is Morpé will score for Brighton. I know I've got a huge Brighton audience that will probably be watching this today. So, worst of luck to you lot today. We are in the director's box today at the Emirates. It's brilliant. Come on, you gunners. Big three points needed today. Let's go around the ground. Not the worst scran here on offer at Arsenal. Pretty good. There's a crest room over there. Just been in there for about an hour and a bit before the game. Coming out on to the pitch now. Game is about to kick off. Come on, you guns. Players take the knee, of course. About to get underway. David Coop blows his whistle. Here we go. Come on, you gunners. Over halfway through the first half. Ball in. Saka. Yeah. Oh my god. I swear that went in. I swear that went in. Well, it didn't, but it looked from here. But you swear that it did. No, I, honestly, I, I thought it went in. I, I, I don't know how on earth Gabriel Magalhães has missed that. How has he not scored that? Still goalless, 26 minutes in. Had some chances. But how has that not gone in? Oh, oh God, the Brighton. Given, not offside. Trossard puts Brighton one it up. Pyros and limbs galore in the away and Sammy is absolutely delighted. Oh, terrible. One nil Brighton. And it is absolute chaos. Chaos in that away and up. I know all the Brighton fans watching this video now will be absolutely loving it and I'm the complete opposite right now. My God, seems absolute seems. Oh, what a chance for Smith Rowe there. How is he not put that away? We're about eight minutes till half time. Ever since Trossard put Brighton one in, we have uh, we have fought back pretty pretty well. We've had chances. We are just simply not clinical enough. I don't know why we didn't sign a striker in general. Lacazette just isn't it. I don't know how many times I need to say it. He just isn't it. We've got a corner now. Let's see if anything can come from it. Boom, great ball. Get back in. Yes. Two minutes of added time in the end of the first half. 
Got a corner. Get it in. Get it in. Get it in. Get in. Gabriel Martinelli. Wow. What a special moment. It's Arsenal one. Brighton won. Martinelli gets the equaliser. Come on! Yes! Limbs in the north bank over there. Martinelli with the goal. It was a very, very scrappy goal, but I don't care. It's one all. That is absolutely huge. Build on that in the second half. Brighton fans are delighted <laughs> and that is why the decision is offside, no goal, Brighton still lead at the end of <laughs> Look, there we go, I can't see it but they're showing why it's offside, still 1-0 for Brighton. <laughs> Half time at the Emirates, who's all around the ground. Seagulls lead at the break, not good at all. Look at that. Teams going. Very, very angry Arsenal fans around the ground. We've got to step it up. We have got to step it up if we want to get these three points. We can't, we can't get any less because Tottenham have a solid, solid chance of beating Villa later on. These three points need to be ours. We need them so much more than Brighton. It is crazy. Second half is now moments away. Arteta better have fired a rocket up those players' backsides. I can hear the roar for the second half beginning. Let's get back out there. Arsenal, this is so, so big. Do not let me down. Come on. Here we go. What a strike! Was that Enoch and Wepu? Incredible! Incredible! What a goal! That's goodbye to top four for Arsenal now. If Tottenham win at Villa later, we can kiss goodbye to top four. Look at this. What a finish from Enoch and Weapon. 2-0 to Brighton. And it's a real, real shame because we were all over Brighton for the first 20 minutes of that second half. So that wonder goal has now killed us. It's killed our momentum, killed everything we've had. Um, yeah, what a result this could be for Brighton. I'm sitting all around their representatives. They are absolutely over the moon. And Arsenal's boys, Vinay, Edu, Per Mertesacker, all above me around here. Such a shame. Our season, our season is dissolving right in front of us. And it's so so horrible to see it. What a shame. Ten minutes to go at the Emirates and this is still well and truly Brighton's game. Gosh, it's such a real shame. I just want to make one point and this is by no means whatsoever an excuse for why we're losing. David Coote, the referee, all day, all day long has been absolutely awful. Consistently what do you, how bad has he been? Terrible. And every time I every time I see him, he seems to get worse and worse. He is an awful, awful referee. And God knows how he's got the job. Honestly, it's terrible. Oh my God! Oh my God! It's 
<laughs> that tells the story of our day. Brighton fans celebrating like it's a goal. Brighton uh, representative saying today is our day. Just next to me is their day, and it's not our day. That is a complete, perfect summary of our day. Oh, Arsenal! I'll never stop loving them. <laughs> oh, the God! Thoroughly deserve that win, and we, we, I don't know what, I don't even know anymore with Arsenal. Um, all the hope is gone. Brighton fans, I know you absolutely love this, so enjoy it. But what a shame that is. The away end goes absolutely nuts. That's top four done and dusted. If Spurs beat Villa for me today, and I think they will. What a big shame. Arsenal players walk off. Oh, I still love you, Arsenal. Never will stop. Kiss the red hanky. Sammy is absolutely delighted. I'm sure what a massive win for Brighton. And from me in the Emirates Stadium. And from the Brighton away end. Cheers for watching. See you in a minute. Goodbye.